Welcome back, Beowulf Nation. It's on Beowulf back in it with another YouTube video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. Get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Also, too, hit the like button. I greatly appreciate it. This video might not make a lot of people happy, um, but let's let the cat out of the bag of what's all going on. Um, as you can see the title, you know what you guys are getting yourself into. Now, on January 6, 2021, the EPA. Now, the EPA, any branch of the government not to mess around with is the EPA. I, I, I had to laugh before talking about this is seeing how uh, multiple manufacturers or companies selling uh, jet ski performance parts um, offering tuning and you know all this stuff where you're modifying the engine they're basically since the first year doing illegal acts and the funniest thing is they're posting it documenting it you know you go on instagram or on youtube or any you know sold forms and whatnot they're showing what they're modifying or they're showing their customers and basically they're building a great case for the epa to go after it and when the EPA goes after you, they'll take what you got and then have to find you millions of dollars. And I guarantee, maybe you'll have one out of the whole companies doing aftermarket work with jet skis could afford paying millions of dollars in fines. Most everybody else, uh, I guarantee they're coming nowhere close to making money like that to be paying fines or could financially afford it. I think the majority of those companies doing stuff, they don't even have insurance. Uh, but yet people buy stuff from them. So the EPA has a national compliance of stopping aftermarket and defeating defeat devices for vehicles and engines. That means you can't put exhaust, you can't put an intake, you can't modify the ECU, you can't even buy the SCOM that just changes the speed limiter. It's illegal. You can't put it in your ski. And I have to laugh is how the companies selling this aren't telling the customers, hey, you know, you're doing stuff that's basically, it's not basically, it is illegal. And it's not a regional, it's a whole national thing. This isn't like, oh, you're in one state, you're safe. The EPA, you don't want them on your bad side. I can tell you that, that's, that's facts. Now, when people might say, well, oh, I don't have to worry about this, you know, EPA can come contact any of these companies selling these aftermarket parts and find them and then get their whole database of all their customers with your address and then can go after you. And you say, well, I don't believe that could happen. When you see the US government printing money off like it's nothing, they wanna cash in and get their money back. And things like this is another way how they can get it back real fast. Um, you look at Today, that's why I've been holding up making this video, and today, uh, Joe Biden, I don't even, I don't vote, I don't care about politics. I'll just take what he said today. He said the most threat to the United States out of anything going on in the world is the environment. Now, when you hear that, and anybody doesn't want to believe what I got to say, that you should be real afraid. When Adam thinks of anything going on in the world, then there's some crazy stuff going on right now, right? Crazy stuff that he thinks that is the most important thing. You, if I was a performance shop of any type, cars, boats, jet skis, uh, trucks, I would be real afraid. I would be, if I was, if that was what I was doing for a living, selling and, and, uh, and working on and, and selling it, I wouldn't be sleeping at all from here on out. I would be uh, real afraid, real afraid. And I'm not pulling anybody's legs. And I hate to talk about stuff like this. I mean, I like to modify stuff, but if it's what the law is, you know, that's when I modified the Beowulf Edition Yamaha GP 1800R. Everything is where I could put it back super fast. Putting the stuff that I changed uh, back to stock is what I'm planning on doing. Um, and I think a lot of these people who are offering ECU reflashes where you have to send 
your stock ECU to them, that you can't put it back yourself, I mean, you basically screwed yourself. The people who are buying the, the dual exhaust or single exhaust and they're drilling in their hull, it doesn't even matter about, you know, you're, you're gonna be dropped from your insurance because you modify your ski might sink from it. It doesn't even matter about the warranty on your ski. It comes down to where you put something illegal. You're adjusting the emissions with the ski with doing that. And you can't put it back. So what they'll come and contact you and say, well, hey, we'll put it back to stock. Well, hey, I can't put it back in stock because I just drilled two holes or a single hole in my ski. They'll just come and seize it up. I've seen stuff pass with diesel trucks. They fine you, and if they and if they you say put it back to stock, if you don't, they come and seize it and say they're gonna crush your, your car and your truck, and uh, they'll be doing that with the jet skis very soon. So um, I, I have to laugh is every time I'm logging into Instagram and people are doing stuff and then they're posting, sharing it, and then the companies are sharing them, and you don't think somebody's watching you. You have Facebook and Instagram, for example, who are like this tied with the government. I guarantee you all it's just being is this huge data collection collected that where when they come and lay down the hammer, you won't even know what to do. So that comes down to anything that you're doing to the engine that's aftermarket. If you aftermarket intercooler, uh, have, sad to say it too, it become, it's put in a blow up valve if you have a supercharged jet ski. Uh, it comes down to you know, injectors, I mean, I could just list the whole thing, intake, exhaust. The only thing you basically can do to your ski now is handling stuff like a different seat, sponsons, ride plate, stuff like that. Anything that comes along with the engine, you cannot modify. And I pretty warned people about something like this, what, a year, year and a half ago, about how I said the future is all going to be electric stuff. And then fast forward in a year's time, you really see what's going on. Uh, electric is kicking off. And there's a lot of states, even with cars, you know, the police pull you over, they pop the hood, they see anything that's aftermarket on it, you're getting fined. It was first California, and now it's happening coast to coast. So, you know, the people have the cars and the trucks and modifying it. I mean, basically, the EPA wants to do is completely even ban race cars. You couldn't take a car that's not even made for the street, that's just for racing. They're making that illegal. So, um, uh, to the people who have bought the stuff, I would personally, in my two cents, would tell the company you want a refund and to protect yourself that you don't get um, fined with this because uh, it, it, it's, I have to laugh. There's some of these people where you can buy a tune online, illegal, and here they're parading around showing it. And you know, I'll tell you, EPA contacts into them, they pull a whole database, they see who you are, and they're going to come do it and if people before don't even understand why if you could just do whatever you wanted before this law came in effect then all these manufacturers would be doing it i know like c in the last two years they changed the design of their exhaust water box and it probably has to come along with emissions related stuff so these companies sell aftermarket water boxes again illegal apart uh, let me scroll through this stuff i can kind of give you guys a summary so these are required this is what they consider emission controls uh required emission controls often include filters catalytic catalyst uh something like catalytic converter installed in vehicle or engines exhaust system as well as calibrations that manage the fuel strategy and other operations in the engine itself the cca prohibits t tampering with emissions controls as well as manufacturing, selling, and installing aftermarket devices intended to meet those controls. That's what I tell you. These shops, man, I tell you, none of these shops would want to tell their customers what's going on. And I have to laugh. They have it, have it up for sale, and you can buy stuff. And I tell you, you guys know who they are. A couple of them are on YouTube, parading around, showing, putting turbos and all that. Well, hey, they're doing something illegal there. So uh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't be intelligent of posted videos it's just to have a huge case or so when they take you to court they can just pull all this stuff up i have to laugh it's just too funny every day i see it i laugh it's in the epa it's found numerous companies and individuals that have manufactured and sold both hardware and, and software pacific designed to defeat required emissions controls on vehicles 
and engines used in public roads as well on non-road vehicles and engines. Illegally modified vehicles and engines contributed in substantial ex excess of pollution and harm to public health demands efforts of the EPA, tribe, states, and local agencies to plan for the uh, attain air quality standards. When they say off-road, this is getting all uh, like everything. Uh, you, know, you see these people put the aftermarket exhaust on, you see it shooting out flames, you think it looks cool, but hey, EPA's eyes, you're doing something illegal. Um, it's, it's sad to put a video together like this, but at the end of the day, I don't want to sit there and be promoting brands or parts and all that to where um, it's now illegal in the United States. I'm, I'm really grateful to myself that I didn't do more stuff to it. I was recently planning on doing an intercooler upgrade on the Yamaha GP1800R. I'm so grateful I didn't spend the money doing that. And, uh, you know, most people will wonder, you know, it, the blow up valve too is a part of the emissions thing. Thus, why wouldn't you think any of these manufacturers would be having it on their supercharged skis, which cause um, issues to the supercharger clutch. Man, this is just, it, it's sad to hear it, but I want to bring you guys what's going on and uh, to brace yourselves if you've done this stuff, this is the time to sell it now. If you bought it, then sitting there waiting until you can find it. And if you don't think they will, man, just, if you don't believe me, give the EPA a call. <laughs> Tell them who you are and say, hey, I got this done to my jet ski. Is this legit? <laughs> and you'll be like, <laughs> it, it's, it's sad because I like to see companies successful selling stuff, but if it comes to where it's illegal and the government wants to make it illegal with racing vehicles, so that means like race cars and trucks and all that, jet skis, besides that, it's, it just shows that how we are going into the future. We are in 2021 and uh, the future is here and we have the brace that we're not living you know, how many people, you know, you know how many cars you see on the road are are carbureted, none, and now seeing that fuel injection is basically fading away like the dinosaurs. And I guess the good news is electric is super fast. Uh, I, they got the new Ford Lightning coming out and that thing is like super quick. It's, a, it's faster than the original Ford Lightning that was supercharged. Uh, and it's, it's crazy how exciting that stuff is. And there was mixed rumors I heard too, which I don't strongly believe in. But like if you see now, there's a very big shortage of cars and trucks for sale. Used cars out there is really hard to find a used car and they're skyrocketed in price. And uh, people think it's because they're bracing already with the electric cars because of the shortage of components to have cars and trucks on the lot. And even too, uh, Yamaha to stop getting skis made for people to pre-order because there's a shortage of components. There's some like crazy stuff with shortages right now. I know myself, uh, I bought the Xbox uh, Series X and hey, I didn't pay what it was what it was new at the store, but it was new I bought, but I had to overpay. I waited till where it was like pretty reasonable. I just recently got it like last week. And the reason why I did it is knowing that all the new games coming out will have to be on that new system. And then my Xbox One X, whatever one I got, the past one, some games won't be supported. And that's why I jumped in now because the chances of seeing one of those sitting in the shelves, go to pick it up anytime this year, possibly next year, next is impossible. And that's why I was like, hey, I'll pay a little over to get what I needed. And uh, and it's, it's what you have to do. And... Uh, that's why I've been saying in a lot of videos in the past, you shouldn't be investing your money into aftermarket parts on your jet ski because um, now it's illegal. So <laughs> you should invest in the cryptocurrency is what I'm saying. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, you have uh, hyperinflation starting right now with stuff. And uh, yeah, and then this is going on and you don't think the government wants to come cashing in, getting all these people with something that's illegal going on and at the parade and around showing everything they're doing is just how unintelligent these shops are that uh, basically 
give an EPA a whole whole database to show you can't deny what you're doing. And then they share who their customers are and they get the whole database. I mean, I, I tell you, if I was those people and you just bought a bunch of parts and you modified your jet ski stuff to the engine, I would be putting that stuff back to stock as fast as you possibly could and get rid of what you bought. And that's a hard thing is like when you're putting like some of these intercoolers or the exhaust on your drilling holes and you can't go back to stock once you do it. Man, man. So you see the people, they're selling the intakes, illegal. It's, it's, it's just what the facts are. And I hate, I hate to tell it, but hey, it's the saying I could say, the truth hurts. So it's what's going on. Uh, it's the end of the video. Man, I've been waiting for like a month doing this and it just was like, man, should I bring it out? And I'm like, and it, cause I see videos where people are bragging how fast they're going. And, and that's especially since day one, I modified my ski. I've never prayed it around claiming what speed it's going. I never get into where it's showing the speed. And that's a whole nother video to talk about with that with the Coast Guard. And actually I'm gonna be calling tomorrow the meeting relations with Coast Guard. And we're gonna find the whole legit thing with that. So you already know you can't reflash the ECU. You can't put the SCOM or any of that stuff modifying the thick ski to go step faster. It's illegal. And then uh, I will be calling tomorrow the Coast Guard and finding their whole laws with that it's uh it's not stuff i like to do but i like to bring people aware because hey this is an investment it's a depreciating investment but before you start dumping a bunch of money thinking you look all cool like hey i'm going this fast it's illegal now it's been illegal since the first of the year and it's not going away anytime soon so uh Hit the like button and check out my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Check out I am Beowulf merch at I am Beowulf.com. Be driven to win. Remember every day is Earth Day. Stay mighty and keep strong.